Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 at Auto Release State Park in New Mexico. And I have a lady that uh, is sharing my spot tonight because she got caught out. In other words, there weren't any spots available. And I offered the uh, opportunity for her to park here next to my rig because I got a big spot. And what she's got is, and I'll show you, and I hope the lighting is good enough, the sun is setting. She's got her a Road Trek SS Agile. It's a six cylinder diesel, which is wonderful good on gas mileage and all that stuff it's a sprinter i mean it's a beautiful unit it's a 2010 and it was something that th this is something that i was really interested in i have to be quite frank with you but anyway this is darlene and i'll let darlene tell you about darlene hi <laughs> darlene how long have you been doing this uh six and a half weeks six and a half weeks so see darlene is new to rving and for all of you ladies out there that think it can't be done by yourself, guess what? Darlene is doing it, all right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it's, how do you like it so far, Darlene? I love it. You love it? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, what, what, is, uh, what is the thing you really enjoy? Just the freedom of being on the road? or it, it, That and it, the comfort that it drives like a dream. Um, it, my, it's just yes, the freedom. I just I've, I'm living my dream. I've always wanted to do this, and I am. Well, let me ask you this: You've been on the road for a while. You've been sleeping on this bed right here in the back. How how is it comfortable? You think the, the yeah, overall? Yeah, I've had to make it uh, a little adjustments, but okay. yeah, it's a couch that folds down. Correct. And. Um, because it's a used rig, um, the uh, front edge of the sofa had been compressed a little bit. And okay. so I was a little valley and dip. And so I've put some cushions and made it a little more comfortable. But other than that, I have no complaints. Well, was there a learning curve? I mean... Oh, yes, there was a learning curve. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And uh, I took it out for five week, five nights when I first got it at, to a campsite at, at a campsite near my home and um, I learned a lot and then <laughs> I put it away and I got my self and my house ready to depart and that took a while and then I immediately took it to friends that had RVs or had had RVs and I've just continued to learn the, the rig and what to do and what not to do and what worked and what didn't work and well, do, have you had any problem backing into sites or no I have a backup camera ah good that's nice and um, I think the people that had the rig before me probably had never dry camped ah. and so the refrigerator um, wouldn't stay lit on the gas okay. and so uh, we cleaned the um the mechanism the the igniter and the you know that whole little piece that right. whole little thing and then later i discovered that the thermocouple was not positioned over the flame well and okay. so it wasn't sending the message that there was an, a flame okay. and so the igniter just kept trying to Correct. send the message so with a little tweak of the thermal couple, bingo, I'm good to go. I was so excited. So now you're totally self-contained? I'm totally self-contained. Well, but as far as uh, heat, when you're dry camping, mm -hmm. it, what do you do for heat? The furnace? It's, I have a little furnace. Okay. Uh, it runs on the propane. Okay. I have a two-burner stove that runs on the propane. And the gas and the refrigerator will run on the propane. The refrigerator will also run on the batteries when I'm driving. And then, or it will it will run, of course, if I'm plugged into electricity. Mm -hmm. So I've got three ways to, to have the refrigerator work. There's no generator, though. Right? I have a generator. Oh, there is a generator. I have a generator. Runs on diesel? Yes, no, it runs on the propane again. Oh, it, the, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. And so that a enables you to run the air conditioner if mm -hmm. you choose to? Mm -hmm. And, and mi a microwave convection oven, micro half time. Well, bully, uh, bully. I have a coffee maker i have a life's um, good yeah life is really good <laughs> <laughs> life's good in the road let's walk it has around everything let's walk around to the side and we'll take a okay. shot a side shot i won't these, walk in these will okay here we go back okay go ahead um and they have a magnetic um 
you know, hole. Right. And then they latch in, and then they will close. Okay. Well, you don't have to close them now. Okay. But no, that I understand how they work. No, that's really interesting. And then is there is there a like a bug thing up here? You can buy a yes, you can buy a bug screen thing that hooks in. Okay. I don't have it. it didn't, right. I didn't have okay. one. But you can get that. So you you've been warm and comfortable for yes, your whole trip. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Really so, nice. But as far as uh, sticks and bricks. A home, or now you told me that you were planning on seeing all of the national parks. Or yes, yeah, that's the goal. Well, you are doing it, babe. Yeah. I have to tell you, you, you're in a hurry about it, but you're doing it. <laughs> and it has an awning, it has outdoor well, lights. So okay, well, let's move around here. The light is fading, and there's the sitting spot. You got to have that. And she's also got a nice dog named a doodle. I just uh, made that up. It's a schnoodle, a and schnoodle. his name is Alfie. I know, Alfie. Yeah. Alfie. What's it all about, Alfie? What's it all about, Alfie? Yeah, you got a nice screen there. Is that uh, magnets at yes, home? Yes, the little magnetic screen that okay. bully, catches bully. itself, keeps the bugs out. So as far as your dining table, do you have one? I have two. There's one that pulls out. Um, the both seats in the front will flip around. Okay. And there's a little there's a little the little thin um, shelf there. Okay. Pulls out and I can sit in my seat and have a, a and have a uh, a little table little tray table. All right. And then there's one that will set up right in front of the sofa. Well, okay. And again, this is a six cylinder diesel Mercedes. Right. And uh, I know it's low mileage, like fifty thousand or whatever you mentioned. Mm hmm I'm now up to sixty. Sixty thousand. Mm -hmm. What 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 kind of fuel economy are you getting with diesel? Between eighteen and twenty. Eighteen and twenty. Most very very, very sweet. good. Very, very sweet. good. And you've been on the road for how long again? Six and a half weeks. And what have you learned? Everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what are some of the mistakes you think uh, that you made? Um, one of the first mistakes I made was I I tried to run my um, refrigerator on the battery. Won't work. Not good. Yep. Well, it will, but it'll drain your batteries real fast. Yep, it sure will. And so when I, now that I've got the um, the problem fixed with the gas. You know, I can now run it on the propane. Right, and it'll last um, a long time. Yeah, because it doesn't it doesn't use much propane. No, so. it doesn't. It really doesn't. It doesn't. So, right. um, another mistake that I learned was that well, I thought that I had a problem with my inverter charger because I was trying to charge it while I was sucking all that battery juice with the with the refrigerator. Correct. So there wasn't anything wrong with my inverter charger. There was only the user who was making the problem. <laughs> that was me. You were so that that was nice to figure out that that, that it was all good. Um, I just had to learn, you know, how what all is charged with what and well, let me, the, so for, on. for all the ladies out there, your age, younger, older, doesn't matter. What would you say to them if they're kind of on the fence about going out alone on the road uh, in an RV? You know, make it, sure you got a, some good friends. Are you scared when you're? No, but I'm but I'm pretty <clears throat> fearless. Okay, but I mean, you you don't have any problem camping anywhere and. No, I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty smart about, you know, I'm not, if I don't, if I feel uncomfortable, Good. even the least, slightest bit uncomfortable, you're gone. I just get in the front seat and start it up and leave. <laughs> you got it. Have you had any of those no, situations? No, well, good. not yet. I don't so, think you will. I probably uh, won't. It's, uh, it's I really like the state parks. I love the national parks. Um, you know, I've slept in, uh, uh, Walmart parking lots. And I have slept in, um, uh, and I've stopped just you know along along the way and found places that were you know level and looked safe. And I lock the doors and sleep through the night, and then get up in the morning and take off and continue on. So well, good for you. Yeah. Well, you have your 
your protector here. I have my my mighty protector. Yes. Can there. you say hi, Alfie? Alfie. Hey, hey, Alfie. Can you say hi to the camera? Look over here. Look up here. Say <laughs> hi. Say hi. What's it all about, Alfie? What's it all about, anyway? <laughs> well, Darlene, I I'll let you end your day, and I know you've got. She's going to be traveling a, a long way the next couple of days. Yes. And uh, because she's, this is like a family vacation. Uh, with Chevy Chase. This woman is setting a land speed record on seeing all the national parks. <laughs> Actually, she, I can in this first trip. <laughs> yeah, she, she, but she, she's going to slow down in the future. She just has some family things or whatever to do when she gets back home. Yeah. But anyway, from Oliver Lee State Park, this has been Darlene and her new road trek, or virtually new. And I just wanted to say thank you thank for you. taking time to do this. And also, guys, adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos because it doesn't cost you a penny. What else? Keep your health. Drink plenty of water. Stretch. Walk. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Very important. Don't watch a lot of crap on TV. You'll feel good. But anyway, for all you ladies out there that are on the fence, just think about what Darlene's doing. I mean, she, she's doing it, all right? Anyway, adios, guys. Bye-bye.